So I'd like to talk about a video that stumbled across my feed today that kind of caught me off guard because of how bizarre it is. So it features Dan Crenshaw, who is speaking at a really small event with lots of conservatives, and a 10-year-old girl asks him a question, and as you're going to see, what she says makes him very angry. So she's kind of challenging him, albeit tepidly, but nonetheless, she's kind of pressing him, and he gets really mad at this child. So it's it's weird, and then the reaction from the conservatives at this event make the entire situation even that much weirder, so the whole thing kind of feels like the Twilight Zone. So we're gonna take a look. Now, just keep in mind that the first couple of seconds of this video, the person who was filming it filmed vertically, and then they flipped it, so it's gonna be hard to watch at first, and then it, it normalizes, but uh, either way, enjoy this train wreck of a video. Jesus is a hero archetype, Superman is a hero archetype. Real characters too, too. I could name a thousand, Rosa Parks, Ronald Reagan, end quote. I can't wrap my head around this. Hero, I'll help you. Put a period after okay. the word Jesus and don't question my faith. Wow. 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 Don't question my faith. Oh, okay. You guys can ask questions about all of these things and I will answer them. But don't question my faith. I can question your faith if this is what you said. That's I, I, I mean you can read the quote again. But nowhere in that quote am I saying Jesus is not real. That's a ridiculous statement. Of course he's the son of God. Of course he's the son of God, and of course he's real. You can't say two different things. You can say that on a podcast, and you can say this here. On the podcast, nobody would have understood it that way. I think you're twisting it that way. Come on. Which is not very Christian. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Not, it's, not, it's not. Come on. Let's go, Brandon. It's not. And I'm not going to have my faith question. Thank you. I'm not going to have my faith question. I don't know what to say about that. Dude, she's 10. She's 10. So yes, it's it's apparent that she was trying to challenge you and maybe, you know, that caught you off guard and you didn't like that she was questioning your religion, but she's 10. So just, I don't know, clarify, answer the question, move on. She's 10. You shouldn't be that outraged at something that a child asks you, Dan Crenshaw. Now, I don't know if she's 10, but the people in the room were saying, she's 10, you moron. I mean, maybe she's saying either way, she's very young. So for her to ask him this question and for him to get that angry is, is extremely irrational and bizarre to me. I mean, this is a child who is concerned that your belief in God is inauthentic. I mean, she, she's she's a child. She probably still believes in Santa Claus. So just, I don't know, explain your position, clarify what you meant and move on. But you see, to her, and, and this took me a while to understand, she was offended at the fact that Dan Crenshaw would place Jesus Christ in the same category as Superman, as Ronald Reagan, and Rosa Parks, because he is omnipotent. He is above all human beings. So for him to do that is very offensive to her. But in response to, you know, um, her trying to question him, he says, I'll help you. Put a period after the word Jesus and don't question my faith. That actually caught me off guard because, again, She's a small child. Why are you <laughs> why are you mad at her? And then everything kind of just went haywire when they started to scream at him. And then they started to press him asking <laughs> Is he the son of God? Answer her, Dan. Is she the son of God? <laughs> Dan had to respond to this. <laughs> Something like this would only happen in America, literally. It's just <laughs> <laughs> these are the pressing questions that conservatives have for their politicians like if i were ever in a room and i had the opportunity to challenge a politician i would be asking them about political contributions their unwillingness to support a policy that is extremely popular and helpful to the american people but they had the opportunity to challenge dan crenshaw and um they're asking him do you believe that jesus is the son of god <laughs> like who cares what the fuck I get the little girl being concerned about his religious beliefs because, of course, a kid is going to be concerned with things that don't matter, like fairy tales and religion and Santa Claus and who gives a shit. But you're grown-ups and you're asking him this. And, of course, you know, um, Dan Crenshaw had to play along. 
Um, and, and then he he also snapped again by saying, um, you know, that that little girl was twisting his words. It's not very quish, Christian. And um, then the crowd just randomly started chanting, let's go, Brandon. I, I just there are so many questions. I, I just want to have an interview with each individual person in that room, including the girl, including Dan Crenshaw, including the people shouting, because I want to know the way that their brains function, because I, I just I genuinely can't wrap my mind around it. The whole thing is weird. Everyone there is guilty, minus the child, because she's a child. But Dan Crenshaw handled that incredibly stupidly, and the crowd reacted in, in a rational way. I get them defending the child, but to chant, let's go, Brandon, and then press him on whether or not he believes Jesus is the Son of God. Who gives a shit? None of this matters. None of this matters. Asking about, uh, you know, whether or not his religious belief specifically meets your criteria does not matter in the grand scheme of things. Asking him about tax policy, asking him about fucking legislation that he's introduced. This doesn't matter. Why are you asking him about dumb shit like this? It's just, it's bizarre to me. But I don't know why, for some reason, as I was thinking about this video, it got me to think about an interaction that I had with an adult as it pertains to fairy tales. So um, when I was younger, I probably stopped believing in Santa Claus when I was like seven or eight years old. Uh, you know, I busted my parents relatively early, but I pretended as if I believed in Santa Claus until I was like 12 or 13 because... I knew that my parents were very poor, so whenever I would ask them for something like a Nintendo 64, they'd always explain to me, look, Mike, we, we just, we can't afford that, it's too much money. But then I'd hit back with the, yeah, but Santa Claus makes them. The elves right now are manufacturing Nintendo 64s, so it doesn't cost anything. Now, they still wouldn't be able to purchase that for me, but perhaps in my mind as a kid, I thought, well, maybe they'll just work that much harder to get it. I don't know, do what you gotta do. It, it comes from Santa, so don't crush my soul. Don't make me believe that Santa couldn't deliver this. So I, I think that at some point, my mom and my dad, they kind of caught on to this little scam that I was pulling where I pretended to believe in Santa Claus, so I would ask for really high dollar presents every Christmas. And so one day my mom, she sits me down and she says, Michael, I want to tell you something. And this was a very serious conversation. She took it very seriously. She says, Santa Claus is not real. And I did not know what to say because of course I knew that Santa Claus wasn't real. I think I was like 11 or 12 at this point. And so I started to question, well, well what about, you know, the, the cookies? What about the snow that was on the carpet after Santa Claus visited. And I knew that, you know, I was old enough to acknowledge that, yes, that was baking soda. It wasn't real snow. The snow would have melted. I wasn't an idiot. I was just pretending to believe in Santa Claus so I could ask for better presents. And my mom explained that was all fake. And I didn't know what to do because I wanted to continue to perpetuate the scam of asking for really good presents because I could use that excuse that it doesn't matter how poor we are. Santa can do anything because he's magic and he makes the presents at the North Pole. So trying to figure out a way to still keep up this facade of me believing in Santa Claus, I hit my mom with a really powerful Uno reverse card, and I tied that shit to religion. So I, I told her, Mom, so if you're telling me Santa Claus isn't real, then of course it's also the case that God isn't real as well. Because if you're lying to me about Santa Claus, of course you're lying to me about God, so I guess that God isn't real too. And my mom did not know what to do. I think she probably knew that there was a level of disingenuity, but she didn't want me to question my faith because my family was very religious at that time. We were poor, so religion was all that we had. So she said, no, 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 of course, it's the case that God is real, but Santa is, is something that we made up. It's different things. And I said, how is it different though? If Santa is magic and Jesus is magic effectively, then why am I not to believe that God also isn't real? So my mom then decided to reverse course. She, I got her the, to backpedal and she said, okay, I was kidding. Santa is real. Everything I said about eating the cookies and leaving the presents, I made it up. And then I'm like, oh, perfect. And then I said, well, why would you make that up? And she's like, I was just pranking you. <laughs> so I at that point, still got her to believe that I believed in Santa Claus, or at least we kept up this facade. I feel like she had to have known at that point when I was 13 years old or 12 years old, however old I was, that I was just bullshitting her. And I ended the conversation by asking, now, I'm going to make sure that Santa knows I want a Sega Dreamcast. So it's just, it reminds me of that where you're a child and you're arguing with an adult about a fictional character um, but I think that had my mom handled 
that conversation, the way that Dan Crenshaw handled the conversation, I would have deserved it. So, I mean, even if that little girl, she's innocent, right? As kids, we don't, we don't know any better. But if that little girl, you know, was uh, let down gently about Dan Crenshaw, I don't know, lying about his religious beliefs or whatever, she was kind of talking about how he did not... Um, or he wasn't necessarily, this isn't her words, this is mine. He was a little bit disingenuous about his religious beliefs because he says one thing publicly and then on a podcast he'll say something entirely different. A lot of politicians do this, right? They speak to certain crowds and they'll lie, they'll twist their stories. So, you know, this this little girl, I think that she, you know, uh, she reminds me of myself when I was younger, except she was met with a lot of aggression. And, you know, had I been met with that aggression from my mom, when I confronted her about a fictional character, maybe, you know, I, I would have, uh, I don't know, I would have grown up differently. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know what the takeaway from this story is, but either way, I just, this story, uh, this video made my day to see a conservative get heckled by fellow right-wingers, and then they're literally trying to press him on whether or not he thinks that Jesus is the son of God. Is that what, it, what they said? Yeah. Is he the son of God? It's just... I love it. This is America in 2022, folks. And, you know, there's not much we can do with regard to changing our government and saving the planet, but at least we can laugh at the dumb fuckery and make memes about all of this dystopian bullshit that we are witnessing every single day. So, yeah, no real point to the, <laughs> the Christmas story that I told you. But for whatever, for whatever reason, that little girl and her interaction with Dan Crenshaw made me think of that. But either way... I don't know what to say. This is just an amazing video. When you acting like a beta, 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 be